What is going on, my lumpies and my germs? Are we doing okay tonight? Yes, I'm seeing the chat seems to be working. I don't know if we're, like, delayed still. No, we're delayed by only a couple of seconds this time. Hey, hello, everybody. Hello, so Bengal Boy, Ink Sack, Ave the Gamer, Charlie, um, Chingy Anything, Silk Cooper. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you to say hello. Wait a minute. I just need to turn my computer up because I couldn't hear that subscription. Um, Cal Rissian, thank you for the resub for two months. Thanks for the last amazing videos over the years. Hope you and your family are doing well. Happy 2021. Well, it's not exactly a happy 2021, is it? But thank you for trying, at least. I, I, can, res I can respect that. Anyway, we're carrying on with Sack Boy today. Boy of Sack. Um, which somebody tweeted when I That's made my tweet, and um, they said that it sounded a bit like a gay porno, which I actually agree with. It does. That boy of Sack de definitely sounds like that, or like a God of War parody or something like that. But um, now we're going into blowing off steam, which doesn't sound sexual in any way, shape, or form. And we're also dressed up as the Sherpa. Um, I'm not sure if it's racially insensitive or not, but it looks. I don't know. I mean. He's a, he's a boy made of sack, so maybe maybe they can get away with a few more things. I don't know. I do like the hair though. He looks very much like Ringo Starr. Um, the hat is very cool as well. How do you get those f f side flaps to stay up? Are you sellotape? I don't know. All the hats I've ever had that look like that—they always went down. Anyway, I'm going. Nowhere am I. Um, Antonio's apples, thanks for the sub. And Caro, thank you for 200 bits. It's Friday and I've lost count of the days because time doesn't exist. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're right there. Except it does exist a little bit because you're here at 10 p.m. GMT. So you've kind of contradicted yourself there, Caro, haven't you? You silly little bitch. Right. Let's move on, shall we? I lo Do you know what? I love it when I fuck with the audience because the every single time in the corner of my eye, I see Keris do this. I just see that I get the glare. I get the glare. Good job, Sackboy. Oh, uh, Luke is almost to the top. Luke is weirdo. Almost Thank you for watching me stream for the first time. Very kind of you. Safe and absolutely not dangerous at all. Train ride. Okay, Vicar Geraldine. No pressure no. Or anything. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So I'm just grabbing onto this. Okay. We're going on a we're going on a roller coaster. No, no, a dangle coaster, more like it, actually. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, I thought that was the whole level. Oh, God, it's an auto-scroller. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, well, talking to the chat and everything will probably have to wait in that case, because I can't take my eyes off the screen for fear of missing something. Oh, like that. Oh, it's a bomb. Oh, I'm trying... Oh, they're trying to nuke me. They're trying to nuke me with screw mines. Wow. I thought this was E for everyone. Not PG-13. Go. No. No. Don't you pop my train. Okay. Oh, okay. No, we're fine. Oh, my. No. We're... Okay, we're fine now. Ah. Okay, no. Okay, we're losing it. We're losing it. So we got to... We got to... Okay, right. Okay, so we need to keep moving with the train. Okay, I thought it stopped forever, but it didn't. Okay. Oh, my God. This is tense. Oh my god. It looks a bit like bug snacks, honey, did you say? The red things do look a bit like Stravi, don't they? I don't know what that was for, but okay. Can we get you up? God, the faces of those things look like my dad's side of the family's grab. <laughs> okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I'm not even saying that for a joke. It genu genuinely looks like my grandfather. There we go. Picked up one, picked up two, picked up three. <gasps> mm. No, okay, nothing there. How about here? No, nothing. Okay. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. There was only three. Oh, I must have fucked up somewhere. No question I fucked up. I've only got three out of five of those weird crescent moons. Wow. I'd be a little bit more scared if Sapboy didn't move so slowly. <laughs> oh, okay, we're jumping on you. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Oh, don't you dare. Oh. 
That's not what we wanted at all. Yeah, I missed it. I don't know when, but I missed it. So that's something. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the one that goes up. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, jeez, that was close. Okay. Okay, nice. We've got the leg the legs of lamb chasing us now. Okay, there we go. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. Panic stations are not needed just yet. Oh shit, shit. Now they are. Now they're not. We're fine. Luckily you can roll through those poppable things. Ha! <laughs> oh, you thought you got the better of me there. But then I got my long neck out. Now who's laughing? Me, that's who. Wow. I got the item. Oh my god. No! I'll leave it behind. It's fine. Yeah, thank you for blowing that all off for me. I guess that's the steam that is being blown off, like I was teased would happen in the level's title. And I'm not disappointed. I mean, they told me they'd be blowing off steam, and there is certainly steam blowing off in this level. So, I mean, what more do you need? Thank you for the um, sub, whoever that was. I will get to who I'll get to thanking people personally in a second. As you can see, we are blowing off steam, and I can't really do much about that right now. Oh. Okay, well now we can. Curb master, thank you. Cameron Blythe, 200 bits, thank you. Hello again. How are you and the family doing? We're doing fine, thank you. How are you doing? Iron Ninja, 200 bits. It's time for Kadickle the Pickle to trickle through the fickle. Hope you have a fun stream, Caddy. Sorry for not keeping my bits in my pants again, lol. Oh, well, you don't need to You don't need to apologize for that. We love seeing your bits come out. It's, every, it's everyone else in the audience I worry about. I'm, I'm partially responsible for what the audience sees. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, like every Friday, it is of course, Pop-Off Friday, got my pop here, I'm good eating, I'm good, good fucking eating! So we blew off steam, and we missed one of the things. So that's really annoying, but we can just go back and find it. That's fine now. It's fine. We know exactly where it is. We just need to grab it earlier. Replay. Come on. This is, we can do better than this. Oh yes, but not only is it Pop-Off Friday with um, Walker's Poppables, not sponsored, but um, it's also Flip-Off Friday. <laughs> I got some chocolate flips. <laughs> so it's Pop-Off Friday and Flip-Off Friday. Which is great. Good job, sack boy. It's oh, it's All flop off Friday. You're right. Yes, All honey, it's flop off Friday. It's live. Thank you for the one dollar donation. Been watching since Rascal Races. Wow. Finally made it to a live stream. Just want to say that even though you you hate your old content, I will love anything you put out. Cure. Thank you so much. And thanks for the sub. Ah, oh, oh, ten month resub, Rhiannon. Thank you so much. Have a great stream, dude. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to be back in the Discord again, even if it is very briefly every other day. I do try as hard as I can. And Cola Flip, thank you for the gifted sub. I don't know why the Henry slept with my wife thing didn't go off, but I, that's fine. You know, OBS is having a moment, as it always does. Probably didn't have a good breakfast. Right, there we go. Maybe they're only the enemies. Oh. Well, apparently, um, Sackboy doesn't want me to kill any enemies, because if you do, the game breaks! It's fucking frozen. Do it in my um, this is not OBS. This is not a technical problem. The game has frozen. I I'm moving. It's not doing shit. Can I pause? Nope. Can I quit? Yes, I can. Blowing off steam, about 10 minutes left. Oh, I don't want to blow off steam for 10 minutes. That sounds quite painful. I, 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 do you know what? Close. 
You know what it is, everybody? It's because it's the PAL version. Fuck PAL. Like, PlayStation games on PAL are always terrible. The European PlayStation games always have problems with them. I won't have anyone else tell me otherwise. PAL problem. Davmas, thank you for the reset for five months. I don't know why, but each time I see the poppables, I read poopables for some reason. <laughs> have a great stream. Oh, yeah, no, they do. It does look like poopables. It's because it's P, which is a round letter, then an O, which is a round letter, then two Ps for the, before the apples. So it looks a bit like poo apples, um, I suppose. Oh, yes, I do have the pal problem emo. I completely forgot about that. I did that myself. I was very proud of it. Well, here we are. Slightly racially insensitive Mexican Ringo star here to play a game that definitely is completely ready for launch. <laughs> At least we've got everything else. Could be worse. We'll try again. We're blasting the steam. Let's go. That's God. how we do it in my garden. There was a hint down there and it said screw bombs are a nuisance, but I didn't read that. I read screw bombs, they're a nuisance. And I thought that is not very E for everyone in a Sackboy game. Nia Smut, thank you for subscribing. Very kind of you. I like the name. Right then, should we try this again? And hopefully we don't shit ourselves and die. Is that, is that too much to ask? Video game that's a launch title for a new console that I ended up spending a lot of money on? The refunds did sort themselves out eventually. I don't want anyone to worry about that. At the time of filming and making the video, they hadn't, but they have now, so don't worry too much about that. I suppose that means if anything goes wrong with this PS5 in particular, it's Sony's problem, and I just gotta send it right back to them, because I said, hey, look, hey guys, I promoted your fucking system. Well, I talked about it in a video at least. So if it goes wrong, I demand compensation. I'll be business cad on the phone. Okay, both are dead. We're still rolling. Great. Okay, right. I'm just doing this to make things a little bit more exciting for me. There we go. There we go. Give him a nice slap. Oh, well, what was the point of you sticking your head out then if I can just jump up regardless? Oh, it's to push me off the end. Oh, okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Right, we gotta look, we gotta keep an eye out for these um, crescent moons. I think they're here. Yeah, one, two. Oh, maybe I just didn't notice them until too late. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that was my fault then. There we go, all nice and nice and tucked in, ready for belly bumps. Okay, right. Let's get to the end of the level. Cameron Bly, thank you so much for 200 bits. What's yours and Karis' favorite chocolate? Personally, I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Magic Stars. Oh, Magic Stars are a good shout. The problem with Magic Stars for me is that I get, I crave Magic Stars every so often, and then I have a bag and I feel sick. It's a very airy, very sickly chocolate. It's nice, but I only have it like once every couple of months. Favourite chocolate, though? Uh, yeah, Keris's is Maltesers, and I've got a few, to be honest. Um, one second, I'm really, really craving just plain old dairy milk slash Capri's buttons. Then the next second, I'm craving um, Lint Extra Creamy, which is basically just Lint mi Milk Chocolate. And not, no, not the American Lint. The American Lint tastes like forgetfulness, because I want to forget what it tasted like. Yeah, it tasted like misery. It was, it was fucking horrible. It tasted like misery and plastic. It was awful. American lint's disgusting. UK lint, or at least Swedish lint. Is it Swedish? Swiss chocolate? But yeah, that's where it's at. Not the American lint, though. It's gross. Um, oh, fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Uh, oh god, my watch is going off. Um, but favorite, okay, favorite chocolate. So yeah, one, one second I do that, then the next second, I'll feel really, really up for some Kinder chocolate. Um, whether it's a Kinder Egg or just the Kinder Bars. But those are probably my top three. I'd say they're my top three. Oh no, and Galaxy as well. Sometimes I really crave Galaxy. So that's my top four. I don't really have a favorite, like, tried and, like, true tried and tested chocolate that I always go for. It depends what I'm in the mood for. Okay, right, let's get over your furry old neck. Right. Come on. Ah, that's a very furry extension you have. 
Yeah. Come on. Oh, Aero. Do you know what? That is a good shout. Aero, Aero Mint is actually up there as well. So top five then, because they're at top five. Aero Mint is fucking delicious. Not regular Aero for me, but Aero Mint, absolutely. Oh, if we're talking chocolate bars, um, Kerry says Snickers is one of her favorites. Which is pretty identical um, in the UK and the US because Nestle is already plastic Henry fake. With my wife. Yeah, it's already plastic fake um, posing chocolate, so I suppose that's all right. Anyway, Iron Ninja, thank you for the gifted sub. Ben from TGG, thanks for the sub. Pepsi donated $5. So is your blood still diabetes? <laughs> I've never had... I, I don't drink sugary drinks. Like They're always sugar-free, so joke's on you. John the Wholesome, thank you for 200 bits. Hey, Kaz, managed to catch the, catch the countdown. Oh, that were well, good for you. Was that exciting for you, counting down from 10 minutes? Say hello to Keris. Hello, Keris. Hi. I wonder, will she ever have a camera or at least a mic? Probably not, no. Yeah, she says no. I've, I did ask her about the possibility of miking her up just so that she you can hear her ramblings as well while I'm doing everything else. Um, which I thought would be quite funny, but she's not too comfortable with the idea. Maybe in the future. Never say never. Never. Oh, she's saying never. Okay. But she said never, which I said you should never say. So, I mean, you're just cursing yourself there, aren't you? Um, and that's, that's all the... Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Let's carry on. Oh, Jesus. Where do you want me to go? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Keris just does her own thing. She doesn't sit with the stream all the time. I don't like you. I don't like you putting me in your head and then having a big fart. I don't like it. Wait, what? Oh, are we in another... Oh. Seesaws on the sea. Are we in another world or are we like... Oh, wait a second. Maybe we're in another world. Don't want that. I want to see what's beyond. I want to see what's beyond the slime. Maybe it's a boss fight. That'd be something. It looks like a boss fight, or at least a very dangerous standard level. So, wait a second. Um, Quick select. Here we go. Right, have we got enough money for any more costumes? Yes, we do. That's how we do it in my garden. Ah, thank you, Apster, for the subscription. Right, we've got Red Riding Hood now. So, um, which costumes do we have available? Actually, no, we'll, we'll go to the next level and then we'll see, because we might have unlocked something from the last level as well. Having a blast. Okay. Oh, we've got like... Oh, wow, we've got um, a Fortnite. <laughs> we've got Fortnite Llama. Um, oh, and we've got old, old Man Stick. And that's the boy of sack. There we go. Okay, let's go with Red Widing, Red, Red Widing Hood because she's the beginning of the woe. Dedicated wham. Not every surprise in a surprise egg is a welcome one. You've been warned. Yes, anyone that's had a Kinder Egg and choked on the toy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mad had to see us. 200 bits. Don't mean to be a prude... Um... Don't mean to be a prude pasty, but you missed my Can greeting earlier. My wife. Wait, I'm... What? Which greeting? What, the, wait, did you send bits? Wait, I'm just checking. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I did. Like, okay, this, sorry, this is the problem with, again, this is, even with, even with a bit limit, sorry, you, you, the notifications get buried. I'm so sorry. Um, look, I'm sorry that I missed it, but don't feel like you have to spend more money. Like, I've, like, you, you've already supported this stream a lot with your bits, um, CSS, so... Don't feel like you need to keep on spending money to have me acknowledge you. Like, I've acknowledged you a load because you've been a really, really nice supporter. So don't feel like you need to keep on sending money just to get a reaction from me. Um, I'm sorry I missed that. Um, but I'm not good at knowing what's bad to say. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just letting you know not to worry too much. I'm going to shut my fucking... Fucking watch up. And Nyaz Smut, thank you for the $10. I, I read that like Borat. Sorry about that. Um, hey Kelly, glad you like the name. Anyway, how's the game? I've never, I've heard mixed things about some of my friends. I'm a little upset that we got this instead of a new Little Big Planet. I, I think, well, like Little Big Planet has kind of been running out of ideas since two. The first two were fantastic. Three was 
great in the mechanics, but not much else. And, um... And, like, the Vita one was fine, but that used the Vita controls, which you can't use on anything else. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy that there's a Sackboy platformer. I don't want another Little Big Planet. We've got enough, like, we've got Dreams and everything. I don't know. Dreams seems like, to me, not that I've played it, but I'm just assuming, it seems like, to me, the most creative that Media Molecule could possibly ever be in their lives with giving a community free reign to make whatever the hell they want. So a little big planet coming back would make, would make, would just look, it would look pathetic in comparison. If we've got something like Dreams already that exists, then I don't think it's too much of a worry. Yo. Okay, well, I've got to redo this anyway. That's fine. Although saying that, I, already, I just started the level. No, we can do it again. It's fine. Oh, all the animals are here to see us. The CSs are. Oh, thank you for another 200 bits. I'll always love spending bits on your channel because L'Oreal. That means I'm worth it. You're very, very cute. Thank you. But like, that wasn't my point. My point wasn't don't send me bits. My point was don't feel like you have to just in case I might I might miss a couple of um, announcements or something. Because it, it will happen. It's inevitable. There's a lot of people and um, they all like to support in their own ways. Right, you guys come down here. Thank you. And then come around here. Just in case. I don't think there was anything. No, there wasn't anything in there. Okay, so when do they come out? Oh, oh, okay, so we have to... Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Come on. Come on, I need you to blow these up. Awesome. Okay, so you have to do that to get them out of their shells. Right, okay, so let's, um, let's head up here. There we go. Oh, I missed another row of score bubbles. Oh, shit. That's the problem with stages like this. You never know when to start and when to stop. Okay, there's got to be something down there, surely. Let's have a look. Sliding down into the cotton. Okay, no, nothing. Uh, I wanted something to be down there. Why couldn't it be down there? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, right, we're doing alright. We haven't died yet as well, which I'm very pleased about. Okay, oh, more bots are coming down. Okay, oh no, okay, right, right, right. Here we come, this way. Okay, so we just need to be extra careful here. I'm going to have to do this just to make sure that there's nothing in each of these crates, because there will be, and then I'll be smacking myself. Cameron Bly, thank you so much for 200 bits. If you're a Simpsons fan, would you rather have Simpsons Hit and Run remastered for PS5 and Switch or a sequel to the game? Um, a sequel. And I'm not, like, like I said in the last room, I'm not a fan, quote unquote, of anything. I just like, I like things and I like them a lot, um, and I, th but yeah, but fanaticism is not, I don't think that's very healthy myself. But, um, come on, Stan. Don't be annoying now. Oh, God. Come on! How do I get you guys to come down? There we go. Okay, right, there we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh. No! Stop doing! No! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. But anyway, sorry. Yeah, I think there should be a remaster. Of, no, no, not a remaster. I think there should be a sequel to Hit and Run because remastering what's already there would make it a pretty mediocre game by today's standards. It was great for the time. But it's not, it's not something that holds up as well as something like Destroy All Humans, which has its problems of its own. But like, if you can make Springfield more 
um, more accurate to how it is in the show and you could have more dialogue, more cutscenes, make it look better and everything, then yeah, absolutely go for a sequel. More vehicles, more styles of gameplay and all that shit. But as, yeah, as it is, it, it exists within its own time capsule, which is fine, but I don't think it needs to be redone because it, do, it's, it doesn't feel as like this revisitable so and replayable as something like um, exactly um, Battle for Bikini Bottom, which wouldn't really benefit from a sequel, but a remaster makes sense with that. But Hit and Run would benefit from a sequel. Yeah, that's Richard E. Grant, yeah. But they're going to need some coolant before they can make it work. And nothing cools like crisp. Mountain. Do! Oh. Saint Walker, thank you for 250 bits. Good evening, Sir Kadoop. Glad I could catch the stream today. Missed the last week because my shoulder's been getting those uh, Erdipal pains. You know, the ones that hurt like a motherfucker. I don't get the joke. You saying yuck, 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 and that's the only way I know you're joking, but I don't get the joke because I don't know what uh, uh, Erdipal means. Edipal? I, I can't even read the word. O E D I P A L. Do you know that word, honey? No, I don't know it either. Sorry, your Mr. Sm <laughs> your big brain smart joke went over my head. So, well done, you. <laughs> Like the Greek myths. I don't know Oedipus. Edible? Oedipus? Octopus? <laughs> Wait, Revolver... No, Revolver Ocelot was not voiced by Richard E. Grant. I can tell you that for a... It's a reference to Oedipus because he slept with his mum. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> right, I see. Wow, thank you for the big brain intelligent internet man joke there. Um, no, they're saying they're saying he's been sleeping with his mother. So, I mean, Saint Walker, if I got the joke, then you're someone who slept with his mum. And if I didn't get the joke, then I didn't laugh. So, either way, you're fucked up. Davmas, thank you for 200 bits. Unrelated to the game, what's your favourite Rush song album? Easy peasy. Natural Science and Permanent Waves. Permanent Waves is my favourite album, that's and Natural Science is my favourite Rush song, which is on Permanent Waves. But that's, like, that's... Um, yeah, that is handy. It's because it's because every time I hear that song, I get goosebumps. I fucking love it. But um, that doesn't mean that that like there's I, like I oh my god, I could talk about Rush all fucking night. But I'm not going to because nobody cares. <laughs> you care, honey. But yeah, but you but you live with me, so you have to listen to me talk about Geddy Lee. You have to listen to me talk about how much I he is Amy's granddad. They look so alike. <laughs> I like um, bosses having a health bar instead of hit points. Makes the makes the fight feel a little bit more tense and makes all the um. Oh my god, he is doing the Trump hands. He is totally doing the Trump hands whenever he talks on camera. He's doing it, yeah. Yeah, so when all these like bombs come out, it makes it more tense and more of a scramble to pick up as many as you can because you don't know how many that you need to grab because you don't know how many hit points he has. So you just try and grab as many as you can. Oh God. Gotcha. And I didn't die. Sailor from Mars, thank you for the $5 donation. Hey, was wondering something. Are you a fan of the Jet Set series? Never played any of them. Also, what do you, what do you think a hypothetical new Spyro would be about? It'd be about a dragon collecting gems, like it always is. <laughs> I'd like the sorceress to come back, but all like withered and skinny, and like a corpse, like a skeleton. Skeletal. Um. Well, she, no, she didn't die, did she? Oh no, she did. No, that's the the no. The ending of the story of Spyro Three, when she comes out the lava, is setting her up for the ending ending when you get everything, and you go to the treasure cave when you then kill her one last time and she actually dies. But it'd be cool if she comes back from the lava and she's like all skeletal and tiny and really withered and thin and all smelly. And um, she's trying to like not even steal the dragon's wings this time, but like trying to like suck their hearts out or something so that they die. Um, that would be pretty cool. Um, okay, yeah, there you go. Little Red Riding Hood is scared of the boss battle. Oh dear, Stan has found the cat. Stan is hiding in the curtains and just wagging his ass everywhere. 
Oh, good God. Gonna have a, one of the flips now. I wasn't personally introduced into the world. The magical world, rather. Of mixing savoury with sweet until I got really into salt and sweet popcorn. But yeah, like chocolate and salted pretzels are fucking delicious. I don't know why it works, but it does. It really shouldn't. Right, so if I travel, where does this take me? I'd assume this takes me to world two. Oh, so... Okay. So does that mean... Hmm... Okay, so that other area I went to, is that like a secret area? Or is it like a star road from Mario? Or is it um, a shortcut to a later world like in New Super Mario Bros? Or should I just shut up and just jump in the big head mouth man that has a big fart out of his head? There you go. Ever heard of a Take 5 chocolate bar? Ever heard of a Take 5? No, neither have I. Right. Who we got now? That's adorable. I'm using that. I am using Yeti spaghetti. Somebody touch a my yet. Stan, I think you're annoying everybody. Yeah, go go to bed. Good boy. He understands go to bed and he's gone to bed. <laughs> God, Sack... Okay, yeah, no, I don't like Sackboy's voice. He just laughed like a ten-year-old boy there, and it made me feel very, very uh, upset. That's the word I'd use. Oh, I can't even touch you guys. I can't even touch the YMCA crabs over here. That's sad. But it's fun to stay in them. Why would, why would you hurt me? What's that, honey? Yeah, it is weird because you made a, make a ten-year-old boy giggle. It's not, it's not a very nice feeling at all. Unless you're a children's entertainer that, like, lives off of making children laugh. Which, as you know, by my brilliantly mature sense of comedy, is not what I ever tried to do! Didn't even start the fucking level. Let's go again. He sounds like Harry Potter on PS1, you're right. It's Cash Banuka! Thaf! Oh my god, dude! Thank you so much for the 207 Banuka raid! Hey everybody from Thaf's channel, welcome to mine. I'm Jim, also known as Caddy, also known as Caddicarus on YouTube. I stream Vidigum, and here we are in a level of Sackboy where um, the village people are dressed up like crabs! There they are! And they're stuck doing the Y part of the YMCA, they won't stop! And I've tried to tell them, but then they hurt me when I do, so there we go. Anyway, thanks for joining in, everybody. Everybody in the chat, you know the fuck you and your stupid seesawing prick face. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, you know what to do. Scare away all of Thaf's audience by just putting all of my ugly emotes for the subscribers um, in the chat. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Thank you for that. That's really kind. Oh my god, that would be Caddy's best revolution yet. Stan Cam says CSs with 200 bits. Yeah, but the thing is, he doesn't stay still. I, I, I appreciate the sentiment and I understand the idea, but he doesn't stand still. He's he's a he's a needy little spoon. Um, he is. Ah, there we go. Grab that again. Roll off. Oh, gee, stop it. Oh my god, were they boy in the striped pajamas outfit? Oh fuck, I didn't know there'd be a reference to that. I was not wanting that today. Um I don't know if people like that story. I don't remember if I don't remember if people thought it was overrated or something. I can't remember. What's the general I've never seen it. What's the general consensus on the boy in the striped pajamas? Is the book good and the movie bad or the movie bad and the book good? Like what 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 no, that's the same thing. Is the good is the book good and the movie bad, or the movie good and the book bad, or is it all bad? I don't I don't I don't know. 
Me Shawk, thank you for $5. I love your work. Thank you. I love your dollars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was really terrible. Sorry. Just curious if you've ever played Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. I have been asked this question like a million fucking times. The answer that I give every time is no. Um, have you seen the ad where you put Spyro, Crash, and Sonic in the hospital? Yeah, it was a magazine ad, wasn't it? It'll make a great review someday. If I was doing single game reviews, yes, but I'm not. Um, I might look at it in a kind of forgotten platformers kind of video. I have to try and make it general, whatever I decide to do. So, um, it's not out of the realm of screw you. It's not out of the realm of impossibility, but it's definitely, um, it's definitely, uh, not something I can do a, a dedicated video on. Enjoyed the book. Movie is better. I think both book and the film are meh. Both are pretty That's good. We do it in my All are bad. Well, you know what? Well, you know what? You're not allowed to say it's bad. Do you know why? Because it's because it's about the Holocaust. I'm pretty sure. And if you say anything bad about something related to the Holocaust in media, then that makes you a bad person. That's just it's just fact. I'm sorry. You can't think that Schindler's List is a bad movie. You have you, you have to think it's good. Otherwise, you're a Nazi. Oh, fuck off! Kringle bum. Oh no, Kringleum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, Kringleum. Thank you for the thank you for the subscription. Oh. Um, is Jojo Rabbit any good? Yeah, um, Jojo Rabbit's a good movie. Um, I didn't think it was as great as everyone else did, but it is, a, it is a really good movie. I gave it four out of five. I didn't think it was like five out of five, nine out of nine out of five. <laughs> I didn't think it was like a, a five star, ten out of ten, or like even a nine out of ten. But I, I, do, I thought it was great. It's a, it's a really fun watch, um, and very clever as well. Yeah, 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 it has done this. It's, it's told the story from a completely different perspective, which is the one from the view of an innocent kid that doesn't have a fucking clue what he's doing, let alone what he should be doing. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting character study. And it's movies like that where whenever I used to... Um, like, whenever I talked in movie reviews way back when about how terrible child actors were, like the kid in the BFG, I thought she was shit. Um, people would think, people would um, often comment and say, how could I be so cruel? I'm not allowed to say anything bad because they're kids, they're too young, they didn't ask for this, blah, blah, blah. But then you see stuff like Jojo Rabbit, um, or like, the, even The Haunting of Bly Manor. Like, Mrs. Pepper, Mrs. Pepper Pig lady, she can fucking act. She's great. And, um, that's what, that's what I mean. It's like, to, to not call out bad child acting is to insult good child actors, I think. Because it is a whatever age you are, it's a craft, right? And you can't say that they're all good, or that you can't criticise them when there's some that are genuinely better than others. Um, Saint Walker, thank you for 220 bits. I have something that's actually funny this time. Do you? Did you hear about the guy at the, the U.S. Capitol riot? I thought you said this was funny. Let's finish it off, shall we? Did you hear about the guy at the US Capitol riot who died from accidentally tasering his own balls? <laughs> that didn't happen, did it? No, there's no punchline because that actually happened and I'm not talented enough to make that up. That's what he says. W well, I... That actually happened? I need to look that up. What the fuck? Well, hey, if anything, let's think about the last moments of his life then. So he got all of his Trump buddies together. They all put their little cute little red hats on. They waved their Confederate flags. They dressed up in war paint and put furry gear on. They stormed into the Capitol building. And then he had the biggest orgasm ever known to man. And then he died. So the last moments of that man's life were pretty fucking epic, weren't they? I'm joking, obviously, but yeah. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. Question for you and Keris. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite actor and actress? Mine is Ewan McGregor and Amy Poehler. Okay. Well, we know with you, honey. Yeah, Bacon. 
Yeah, Kevin Bacon for um, Karis. She loves she loves a bit of bacon, especially when he's talking about EE. I think he lives in the UK. He must do because he seems to do a lot of EE ads, which are which is a phone. Oh yeah, the girls. Yeah, yeah. The well, for Keris's birthday in November last year, um, the kids um, had promised her that they invited Kevin Bacon over for tea, um, and he didn't come. So then we had to compromise and watch Tremors instead. And I still want to watch Sleepers because apparently he's a pedo in that, and I want to see your hero get completely demolished, like he deserves. No, I like Kevin Bacon. He's pretty cool. He seems like a nice guy. Unless I don't know about something he said or did ages ago. Nobody would employ him if he's a bad man. E.E. E. Really wouldn't have him if he's a bad man. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um, Brian Cranston says someone in the chat. That's a good shout. Who's mine? Oh my god. I don't know. Um... I have like a collection. I have a collection of people where every time I see them, I think, oh God, yes. Richard E. Grant being one of them. Um, oh, who else? Um, Samuel L. Jackson, definitely. Um, I'm just trying to think of anybody that immediately springs to mind and I go, oh my God, they're in it, awesome. Um, oh, Harrison Ford for you, honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't have a single favorite. In your favourite film, Robin Hood, doesn't have anything in it, yeah. Oh, Alan Rickman's one of my favourites. Fucking love Alan Rickman. Um, bless him, before he went away. Um, oh, God, who else? There's so many people. There's so many people. Um, Sigourney Weaver's pretty fucking cool. Um, I like seeing her in things. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at my shelves now. I love Bruce Willis's movies, but I don't like him too much. I, I like him, but I'd never say he's one of my favourites. Yeah. Um, oh, who else? I like Stallone. I like Stallone a lot. I think he's cute. Um, I, I'm trying to, honey, but I'm also looking at the shelves. Oh, there's, uh, there's so many. Kurt Russell! Fucking Kurt Russell! We always... That's the only reason we watch The Christmas Chronicles was because of him, and I'm glad because he's the only thing in it worth watching. The rest of it was terrible. Um, oh nine havoc worm. Thank you for the resub for um, five months. Hope everything is going well and hope you're enjoying the game. Yes, it is, and um, yes, the game is fun. Thank you. Okay, right. Where are we? Oh, it's a surprise egg. It's a Barbie surprise egg from Ryan's Toys. Oh, ooh. no, that wasn't fun. Oh, oh my God, no! Spyro's water farts. Thank you for um, 200 bits. Just dropping in to say, hope you have a really good night. Oh, I hope you do too. Thank you. Very kind of you. Need to get up here. Um. Oh, and Ciesus, 200 bits. Which actor slash actress would you say had the weirdest acting career? I'd say Tim Curry, who played a sentient organ, a giant skull, singing pollution, an eccentric Soviet commander, a transvestite alien scientist, a shape-shifting clown, and a talking plum with the doctorate in taxidermy. That is a very good shout, actually. Yeah, that's a very good shout. Yeah. Um, interesting career. Nicolas Cage is pretty interesting. John Travolta is really interesting. He has done everything. He is like he has done fucking everything. Um. Uh, oh, who else? There's so many people. There's so many people. Russell Crowe. <laughs> and I'm Javier. Prisoner two four six zero one. Your time is up and you're forever gone. I'm at the doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong. That's what I sound like in the whole movie. I cannot sing. Don't watch Les Mis. It's it's a it's a pretty bleak. Oh yeah, Tim Curry was also a pirate. Tim Curry was also a pirate in the Muppets. 
Oh, my, everyone loves Michael Caine as well. Everyone loves Michael Caine. Christopher Walken, that's a good shout. Gary Oldman, yeah, he's pretty cool. My mum keeps calling him John Revolting. <laughs> that's what you call him, honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed a thing. Oh, shit, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. i got to go back in there. I've got to get in there. I'm Joe, the super nanny. I've got to get in there. It's un unacceptable. It's disgusting. I've got to get in there. I've got to roll my sleeves up and get in there. Well, what happens when your child acts up? You kick him in the head. You lock, you lock him in the cellar and you kick him in the head. And you give them no bread for their supper. What happens when your kid doesn't listen to you? Very simple. Be sick in a cup and make him drink it. I'm super nanny. <laughs> Sorry. I used to love that show, but now, now as now as somebody who has children in their life, I can't watch it without being uh, like unreasonably livid. I can't watch kids being bratty without just wanting to sh like sh cut their lips off. <laughs> Shit on them! <laughs> No, I can't watch shows like that or like My Sweet Sixteen or anything like that. I just can't watch it without wanting to like cut their lips off and feed them to a goat. I just can't. It's too much for me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where are we? Ah. Yeah, cut their lips off and feed them to a goat. Yeah. Hello, I'm super bad. Right, can we get up here? Yes, we can. Or maybe that's where the secret is. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's nothing on top of the testicle plank. Okay, here we go. Let's pop them. You know what? Somebody was in the chat was mentioning about... um, No, Harry Potter's uh, Harry Potter PS1 dialogue and how it sounds like Sackboy in this game. I remember when I got Harry Potter, The Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2. Um, and... Um, Playing, I played the, obviously the Chamber of Secrets first, and then a couple of years later, Prisoner of Azkaban came out, and I heard it. I heard um, from magazines that it was basically the same thing, more or less, as Chamber of Secrets, um, which is an awesome game. So I was like, okay, I'll give that a try. It's like a, it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool story, cool like atmosphere and everything. So I think it'd be pretty cool as a video game. Um, and what I was really surprised about was um, during the. Um, when you're in the dialogue, in the PS2 um, Chamber of Secrets, Harry's like, when he calls for Hedwig, he goes, Hedwig! And because that's what you would expect an, a 12-year-old, 11, 12-year-old kid to sound like. And then one year later in Prisoner of Azkaban, he calls out Hedwig, he's like, Hedwig! And <laughs> it's my, f my first thought, even as a kid, was, did your balls drop or did someone cut them off? Like, what, what the like fuck? <laughs> it was awful ruined the game. I don't know how you can go from so squeaky to so deep. I always found that was weird. Um, Kakor Cake Core, thank you. Kaki, uh, uh, Kaki, <laughs> Cake Core, thank you for the subscription. Very kind of you. Um, I am looking for a last collectible! Oh dear. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban was the first one based on the movies, right? I think so, Ben. I think so. Because the Chamber of Secrets game is closer to the book than it is the movie. And there's so much shit that happened in that game, I'd only seen the movies at that point, and I was so lost multiple times. Maybe the, maybe the Prisoner of Azkaban's based on the movies? Yeah, I think it is. I think, I think it's a movie tie-in game. Because I don't think Chamber of Secrets was a movie tie-in. So where's the... What? Where is it? Uh... What? So it's definitely the last one we're missing, right? Yeah, it's the final, the final one. I'm very confused. Is it in the surprise egg? But there's... But there's it's either that or death. There's no, there's no in-between. I get money or I get death. I don't get anything else. 
Um. Anything in here? No. And this is where the checkpoint is. Oh shit. Um. Okay, well then I've got to replay it then. There's nothing here. I'll find it. Stuff through what? Anything that looks slightly out of the ordinary, we'll abuse it until it gives us what we need. So, first checkpoint. So I think I think we're safe now. Basically, it has to be before that final checkpoint because unless it's really well hidden. I have no idea where it is. So I need to I need to figure out where this final checkpoint leads off to. So it's not this one. Is it around here? I I see I personally think it's got something to do with the seesaw thing up here. It has to. Cuz why is it here if it's not? Maybe it's on this side. I didn't check this side. Let's see. No, nothing to fly to. Okay. Here, this this looks completely different from everything else. No. Okay. Um. Okay, that hat's wearing that that hat's wearing a fish. That fish is wearing a hat. I guess we're gonna just have to sacrifice a couple of things until we get. Maybe jump off to this side. No. Okay. Oh no, and have it one. Thank you for three dollars. I hope you're enjoying Sackboy. Got it for Christmas. But sadly, not played it much because I've been too busy playing Cyberpunk. Um, yeah. Until I get a better, like my my laptop is very fucking good. But from what I hear, you need the best possible computer to make it even vaguely good. So I'm just gonna wait until my PC is a little bit better before I commit to that. Is it here? No. Um, 300 bits from Super Maze, thank you. Prisoner of Azkaban was a lot like Chamber of Secrets on the PS2, like you'd explore the grounds of Hogwarts. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was cool. Like I said, I, I had it on PS2. I'm just saying that the, the voices were very different. Um, it also had a bootleg buck beak you could ride after beating it. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, this could be anywhere. Um, okay, maybe it's in here. My gut is telling me it's got something to do with the fish and the hat over there. I, I, but I don't know why that would make any sense. Maybe it's got something to do with this. I don't know. There's bubbles down there, but not on that side. Why is that? Uh, it doesn't matter. It kills you either way. Okay. Um... It's, it, it has to be with this seesaw. It has to be. I don't know where else it would be. I genuinely don't know where else it would be. Maybe I've got to like get rid of this. Slam down. Behind? No. God, I think there's a secret in the game that's actually already flummoxed me. I'm not sure where to go or what to do here. I won't ask for help just yet. I'm, I'll give it a few more goes. Maybe it's back here. Maybe I'm too far ahead. Oh! Oh! That's doing something. Your clam, The clams are popping out. No. Okay. Anything around here? No. Hmm. I'm going too far now, aren't I? Oh, fucking hell. Okay. I'm not going to let Sackboy beat me. I, I will find this thing, I promise. Behind here? Behind here? 
Oh no, I've ended up back here. Shit. Ah! There's the bastard. Got ya. Oh, sorry that took so long. See, and I feel much better. I could have just looked it up in chat, but I wouldn't have felt as good as I do right now. Because I did well in a sack game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me a pop. Ah! Uh. Right, let's keep on moving. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, let's go this way. Move it, move it, please, move it! Fuck's sake. I don't understand the timing here. <laughs> Whatever. It worked. And some money as well. Awesome. Um, Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. Did you ever play Emperor's New Groove on PS1? I remember playing it as much as I watched the movie. I've seen the movie once. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, it, it is the funniest Disney movie, but um, at least animated classic Disney movie. But um, uh, yeah, no, I never played the game. That's how we do it in my garden. Ah, oh, thank you, Jack the Chinese Monkey, for the subscription. Right. Oh, I see, so each world will have a different way of getting to each end of the secret world. So it is Star Road from Super Mario World, basically. Hmm. I've got to be pinata head now. Graveyard shift. Yeah, sorry for the crunching. This is I've got myself a new microphone and it's so good that you can hear basically anything happen. And I mean anything. Sorry, I just need to readjust. Yeah, but it's like it's auto level, so it knows when I'm being quiet and it knows when I'm being loud and adjusts the level of um the decibels accordingly, which is really smart. It doesn't give you like the absolute like best possible fucking like studio quality, but for a for a USB mic, it's the best I've ever used. It's incredible. A bit pricey though, but then you know. Oh jeez, here we go. Tilt controls. Yeah, patrons are helping me invest into better equipment, so I might as well make the most of it. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I thought that was an enemy. I was really confused there. Right, let's go along here. Oh shit, I've done it again. Okay, bubble binger. Okay, so that, okay, you can adjust the speed. Okay, I didn't know that. Right, so we got multiple balls, shiny ball, multiple balls, shiny ball, multiple balls, shiny ball. There we go. All right, there was definitely something towards the screen that I missed. Yeah, there we go. Is it just score bubbles? Okay, all right. This is reminding me a lot of um the uh some of the levels in um, um Battle for Bikini Bottom. Actually, talking about that again. It's got that it's got the same color scheme and the same like under well I mean obviously it's underwater but it's got the same color schemes as some of the levels in that game. I like that old clock. I want an old clock to tell me it's always six o'clock. Then maybe I'll be happy. Oh, oh my god. Where did you go? Why did you do that? Go down there then. Okay, then you go down there. And then we bring this along here and go forward. There we go. Through there. Through the rip in the pants and out the other rip in the pants. Ah, just got that just before it ran out of time. <laughs> I knew there was a secret. I fucking knew it. 
I saw that dude there and I thought, nah, there's no way that you're not hiding something. Like, there was no way that there was going to be a, a, a sheer cliff face drop with the camera showing slightly over the edge without there being a secret there. Do you know what got me to, like, look at secrets and games in a completely different way? That was Dark Souls. Like, Dark Souls taught me, and Demon Souls, and to an extent Bloodborne, that taught me how to look at level design and how to hide things and optional content. Like, it, it made me think, like, about everything. Like, uh, there's a reason for everything being placed in certain places in certain times, uh, in certain ways. Okay. Oh, lordy. Okay, right. Okay, is that the way to go, or is this... Nah, this doesn't look like the way to go, does it? Not on top of the stool. Not on top of the stool sample. <laughs> okay, into the mouth. We're in, we're in the skull bounds round right now. Okay, we got to think about this. I, I was about to go in, guns are blazing. <laughs> oh, I nearly fucked up there. Oh, uh, why do I do that? I just look at things that need to be broken and I think, there's no puzzle, break it! And it always fucks me over. But we did all right that time. Awesome. Right, let's keep going. Re Reno Wintery. This is not Little Big Planet 4. This is Sackboy A Big Adventure. It is a Sackboy mascot platformer for the PS5 and PS4. Not that I know if it's any good on PS4. I'm probably, I'm sure it doesn't run at 60. If it does, then I don't know why the hell it's on PS5 as well. Okay. Okay, it's crap that. There we go. Okay, now we got free movement. Oh wow. This is reminding me a lot of. God, guys, this is giving me, giving me flash, nostalgic flashbacks to Croc on the PS1 with those platforms that you could, like, jump onto and then move anywhere around bottomless pit holes. They used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid because they always popped up in dark-colored levels. They were like little platforms that flew above bottomless pits, but they, the bottomless pit was just blackness and the sky was usually dark red or dark purple. It used to scare the shit out of me. While there was happy music going on in the background, may I have you know as well. And also because of the tank controls, as much as the game is designed around the tank controls in the in the like running around platforming, on stuff like that, it wasn't really built for it because you have to like jump forward, back, left, and right while trying to navigate a fully 3D space over a bottomless pit, um, and it was kind of awkward. So tense as anything, and it, and they all made and they made a horrible noise as well. They all went like it was like a horrible purr, the purr. Of a, of a demon. It was a purr of a demon, that's what it was. Oh my god, okay. But at least here, even though we've got an analog stick, at least the motion controls in the um, dual sense are really, really good. So I actually, I actually feel kind of accurate with this. This is a far, far cry from Wiimote shit in Mario Galaxy. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh my god. Oh wow, that was close. I didn't know where if he was going to go back the way he came or if he was coming towards me, so I just panicked. All right. Uh, let's go. Whew. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. So I feel enough time has passed. What were your thoughts on the Kingdom Hearts 3 ending? Have you tried the Remind DLC? I started the Remind DLC. I've got my PS4 up in my bedroom, but I just haven't played it. Um, I did like the first 20 minutes of it and I was fucking lost and I had to had I had to have a discussion with um, Super Butterbuns about it because I was like so did did Sora do all of this during the events of Kingdom Hearts 3's main story or like is he doing this now fresh or does he have is he doing some new stuff but has to go back through what what happened in Kingdom Hearts 3 or is it because of him that Kingdom Hearts 3's ending happened like it the, but then she explained it to me, and then I was down with the idea. I quite like the idea. As far as the ending to Kingdom Hearts 3 goes, I have absolutely no clue what anyone was expecting other than 
the bad guy wasn't that bad all along. I don't know, like, it it matches with the themes of Kingdom Hearts' batshit insanity so well. Oh, God. That was a terrible picture. It matches with the themes of it so well. Um, I, I thought it was great. I just, like, it wants you to feel emotional, and I did purely just because of what I was seeing. Not a crying emotional. I meant, like, nostalgic and, like, Oh, wow, this is conclusive. Why it was happening and the logistics and the logic behind it, that didn't matter because that's never mattered in Kingdom Hearts, so I didn't let that bother me. I thought it was hilarious. Okie dokie. So that's it. We can't jump over there. No, we can't even. We can't jump at all. Full stop. We can't jump. Back to the main level then. Yeah, the, you're right, hardboard one. The power of friendship wins in the end. Yeah, what else would it have been though? Like people were expecting. People were expecting a solid, satisfying, conclusive, logical ending to a saga that has Dream Drop Distance in it. Like, and Kingdom Hearts 2, to an extent. The main plot is fine, but everything else around it is pretty confusing. Um, it's just, yeah. Hey, fellas, did someone say Door of Darkness? You were expecting that to end with a serious emotional gut punch or something epic and conclude. No, it was never going to be like that. Okay, we've got an. Ah, oh, we got another mo money bonus. Nice. We've got another money loop. It's a money loop. Let's go in. Yes. <laughs> We're in a money bonus round now. On your mark. Three, two, one. And a half. One, go. Okay, let's grab these before they fall down. The big ones are the most important, and I can get the little one. I died. Um, the, yeah, I can get the I can get the little ones as I look for the big ones, but the big ones are the priority. Oh, shit! You are doing brilliantly. Come and buy a new outfit, though. Style matters. You can do it, mon brave. Oh Time my God! <laughs> okay, that was fine. Boonlay, thank you for 200 bits. I actually wanted to get into Kingdom Hearts. Is it a good series? All I ever hear is that the story's ridiculous and the combat's fun. It's one of my favorite um, franchises in gaming. I love Kingdom Hearts. Specifically because of how irreverently stupid and unapologetically confusing and nonsense it is. It's like, it is as, it is as ridiculous as you would expect Kingdom Hearts X Final Fantasy to be, you know? Right, so what have we got to buy? In a banana motif, so you can either buy the you can either buy lunch? says the can, the colossal canopy. So that means you can either buy the outfits early or you win them in the stages, which I guess is a, a nice option between collecting shit and um Okay, there I was going to say there should, there needs to be some sort of like exclusive um yeah, if there weren't any exclusive things to buy, then that then that that system would be kind of pointless because you earn money so little, not so little, but you don't earn it as much as you do. Like you you would have to explore the levels so much, like to get these things to get money. So by you exploring so much to get money to buy the costumes, you're most likely gonna find all the pieces to a costume by default. So the system's kind of busted in that way. But I'm glad that there's things like, yeah, the hair, that's that's you know, cat eyes are exclusive, frog eyes are. I guess I could buy these. Festival, yeah, so actually, no, I'll save up for the demon because I really like that outfit. Oh, the costumes you win in stages are completely separate. Oh. Well, then I guess they're not worthless at all then. Ignore me. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, we need to be old man sticky. Old man sticky with his big golden rod. Oh shit, you're ugly. Uh, 
Oh, the straight nanas are you, squad. Mama Monkey! With that rotten plum vex. Who's that, honey? Don't frighten me, none. <clears throat> I'm just thinking because they're all they all seem to be Oi, British comedians. Sack boy, the one who's gonna stop Vex or croak trying. Oh, bless your stitching. That Vex has been spreading up all and mischief round here. He's after our nanas, and no mistake. Not after your nanas. No, we can't get we can't let him have the nanas. Think you can stop him and his grotty weevils? Off you go then. Me and the monkeys will be rooting for you. Thanks, love. Make sure we get a cheeky point after all this. Give a cheeky slap. Can I give you a cheeky slap? That's <laughs> no way to oh, Okay, go, baby, go. You slag. Give you a slap, you slag. Get off. Get off. I thought it said Jeff. No, just Jeff. Oh, look, honey. £14.99. What a bargain. It does look like a HMV tag. Yeah, you're right. RIP HMV. Unless there's still a few left. I don't know. All the ones I used to know are gone. Yeah, it was a good shot, but it just wasn't good. It was never going to compete with online streaming. Yeah, well, that's the same with record shops. And the, that's the only reason that game shops still exist is because of accessories. And um, because um, it's usually cheaper and much more price efficient when you're going for pre-owned shit. It's basically, it's better to buy games in the shops than it is to get them downloaded. It just is, unless you've got Steam. So that's why game shops still exist, because the the, the online scape of buying... Um, oh. Yeah, of buying games is um, completely bent out of shape. It's, it favours um, uh, people in physical copies and game stores more for pre-order. No, sorry. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. Thank you. I love how you're there to tell me to shut up when I'm getting ahead of myself, honey. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to keep the stream interesting. It's a difficult task. Right. Lots of balls, death. Lots of balls, death. Give me balls or give me death. Oh, how do we get up there? So yeah, we picked up some honey, and that's why we're um we're able to walk on the walls. I don't remember Winnie the Pooh ever doing this, but um I would pay to see it. Oh Baba, I need to get the honey so I can walk up the walls. And take down Owl once and for all. What? Do I want to ruin the new Oh my god, yeah. So, so we, um, Keris, um, Keris, Chloe and I watched It Chapter 2, and um, Chloe hadn't seen it yet. She enjoyed the um, It Chapter 1, the newer one, and um, we said, okay, when it comes out on on um, on um, 4K, we'll get it, and then we'll watch it on Halloween. So we did, and we watched it on Halloween, and um, something I didn't notice in the cinema when we watched it the first time was that Pennywise in that whole movie, and I don't remember him sounding like this in the first one, but he sounds like Winnie the Pooh the entire time in it, it Chapter 2. And it is the funniest shit. Oh shit, I'm dead. I don't have any friends. Oh, oh. Oh my god, okay. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. I know this might sound silly, but as a Winnie the Pooh fan, the 100 acre wood in Kingdom Hearts 3, what the hell happened? Like you said in your review, Owl and Eeyore were nowhere to be found. In Kingdom, 4, in Kingdom Hearts 4, just bring back the missing pages. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't mind that much, because like the 100 acre wood was the worst bit of like all of the Kingdom Hearts games. They add, I'd rather they added something in because they had something good to do instead of adding it out of obligation, you know? When you do something out of obligation and nothing else, it's shit. Because it isn't only insincere, it's not going to be very good. Oh, hang on. Can I go down here? Yeah. Wait, that's where... I... Yeah, there we go. 
Um, and Lazarise, um, a hundred dot. Are you shitting me? A hundred dollars. Are you kidding? Seriously? What the fuck? Why do I deserve that? Merry belated Christmas. Oh, th thank you. Why? What? What? On, I yeah, I, I think every time I put my hair up, I end up with a hundred plus dollar tips. Jeez. That's a big honey. A big hundy. Hundy. It's a hundy dolly. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I, 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 I know less and less what to say the more it happens. It's, it's, I just can't understand how people could be that generous to me. Not generous in general, generous to me. Right, so we've got to activate these guys. Uh, yeah. Then what? Okay, then we stay on you. Ah. Okay, gotcha. Go for a bit of puzzle solving me. I don't know if I've ever made this clear or not before, but just because everyone's giving me some very generous tips does not mean that you are going to see me take my clothes off, if that's what you were hoping for. I think it goes against Twitch's um, TOS anyway. Oh, fuck. The jump-only enemies are a little bit of a pain because of Sackboy's speed. Like, there's... He's got, he's, got, he's got good physics to his movements, but um, when it comes to aiming precisely on top of things that move faster than him, it becomes a bit of a chore. There we go. Jonah the Wholesome, thank you for 200 bits. Since there are movies that are so bad, there are good. Birdemic... Um... That's how we do it in my garden. <laughs> Bur the room, Birdemic, Schindler's List, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Do you have a so bad, it's good game? Do we? I don't know, and I'll tell you why, because when you're playing a game that's terrible, you're playing it. You're not you're not partaking in just sitting back and watching it. You, you can't turn your brain off or admire lots of different details because it, you, it takes effort to play a bad game. So I actually don't think I have any. I really don't. I have games that are maybe not as good as everyone else thinks there are, like Sonic Riders, that I genuinely really enjoy, but that's because I enjoy playing them. So I don't think there's any universally agreed bad games that I that I like, not because I actually like them, but because they're so bad they're good. I've never ever had that with a game before. Oh my god, I died again! Even with something that has no basic mechanics to it, like um. The, um, the Impatient, which was a PSVR game and part of the Until Dawn series. All you do in that game is walk around and get spooked and the story makes no sense. And it's and it's pretty funny in places like when you can, you can carry sandwiches and shit and like the sandwiches glitch out and then they, they, then they stick on your hand and then nobody will take them and you throw the sandwich at the, um, the hospital staff. That stuff's funny. And that's with a game where it didn't take any effort to play because all you did was look around a VR world and walk around. That's it. And even then, it wasn't so bad it's good. So I, I don't think I have any. I can't think of any at least. Big Rigs? I haven't played Big Rigs, so I couldn't say. And, and, and to be honest, there's only so much enjoyment you can get out of Big Rigs because once you, once you see the... Once the gag has been laid down bare... That's it. That's all the game has for. Uh, I'm going for it. Like, okay, you can reverse to the speed of light, and you can fall through the bridges, and the races don't make sense, and the grammar's bad, but once you've seen all of those things, how many more times can you do them over and over again before it's like, okay, well, let's... Can we not, not play this piece of shit anymore? I've never had that with a game. Now, there has to be a seed somewhere, because... Oh, is it up here? Maybe. Oh god, it's him! These guys' hitboxes are really screwy. I attacked you. I attacked you. 
And I had the umbrella, so that would have hit you and that would have killed you in one hit regardless. Oh my god. Thank you, my friend. I thought that was the end of Gerald for sure. Yeah, you could have surprised me. Right, okay, I've got the umbrella back. Right, so let's go this way. Put the seed in the um seed pot. Lazarice or Lazarice, sorry, I can't. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Thank you for the subscription as well as the $100. That's way, way too kind of you. Thank you. Oh, good thing I did that because that's a collectible that I need. Boy, sack boy. Oh my God, get away from me, Mama Monk. Kendall Bud, thank you for the sub. And Seanless, thank you for the sub. Well, what if I like Sean? If you're Seanless, I am not interested. I want you to be Sean Full. Okay, so there's a wind up to the. But well, that explains why I got killed the first time. I swear I hit you earlier. Oh my god. Are they singing in the background? Where's the potty? Says Keris. Oh my god, you're right. It does sound like that. Oh, where's the potty? Yeah, you're right. It does sound like that. I'm going to lose all these fucking points if I'm not careful. I didn't realise you lost points when you died as well, so it's not just a life count you got to worry about, it's the points as well. Well, if I have to get through all of this again and go for as many score bubbles as I can without dying, that's, this is going to be actually quite a tricky level. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way! Fuck. Where's the exit? Or am I going... Oh, is there another way to get out of here? Oh, I see. Right, right, right. So I went the secret way without even realising. I thought I was going the way I was supposed to. Oh. You're doing great, sack boy. You might even make you an honorary member of the Order of the Yellow Crescent-shaped Fruit. Yeah? Look impressed. I missed the point bonus, damn it! So how do I get in here then? Do I... Ah, okay. Well, hopefully I got enough points. Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't think I did. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Worried old man. <laughs> Head headline news. Old man doesn't know what he's won or why he won it. <laughs> and that's the picture they go for. What am I doing? Right, I've got to do it again so I can get through it without fucking dying. Oh my god. Can I have a Coke, please? Can I have a Pepsi Max, please? Thank you, love you. Get this, don't need it. I don't need to learn more about the fucking Mama Monkey clan. No, thank you. Just rush through it, bomb through it as quick as I can. I want more of the speedy levels. I like, I, I like, they're actually genuinely very engaging. I think, like, lots of these stages kind of, they're not bad, they're just not very interesting. And I'm, I'm not going through them, like, completely, like, um,. I'm not turning my brain off going through any of this at all. Um, that's not the that's not the word. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not like turning my brain off or anything, but I am. Um, I do feel a little disengaged in some places. But in the um, time trial levels, um, they're nice and short. They're nice and up. Uh, thank you, honey. They're nice and short. Nice and um, um, nice and challenging. And it provides you with a unique challenge, which, for a game about being pretty damn slow, works works to its advantage quite well. If you've got a game engine that plays as slow as this, which it does, I'm it does play really sluggishly, then um, 
I like the idea of making more use of it by making levels that force you to rush. That's that's a cool idea. Because then it makes you feel like you're doing something more important than um, slowly r running and jumping around. Um, I'll get on a lot better once I stop seeing you come out of my closet. Fucking hell. Okay, you were, you were down to the left a second ago. Resident Evil 4 merchant looking motherfucker. Yeah, alright, let's go. Where's the party? Wow, oh, need the party. Oh, forgot my nappy. I'm gonna miss I it. Make you an honorary member of the order of the year. party. Yeah. Oh, we can fast forward this bit. Oh, nice. Thank God. Oh, Richardo's in the chat. Have a bit of Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe that's why they're Cockneys. And that was another Cockney thing that Keris introduced me to the other day. Bangers and Mash. That was another Cockney monkey thing. What is it with Cockneys and monkeys? Is it because they sound the same? Cockney monkey? Is that, is that what? Ooh, ooh, ee, ee, ah, ah. Bangers and Mash. We're Chaz and Dave doing a theme song for a show about apes. Oh, we got another bonus money round. Nice. Well, let's go and fucking do it then. I'm not going to say no. A new trial has been unlocked. Oh, no, let's a do that first. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah, these, these ones I like. I like these ones. Right. Oh, this looks like a good time. Here we go. Oh god, I just skipped a massive port. I know I missed a um, minus time there, but I don't think I need I don't think I need it. I think the time I've saved skipping that massive part of the stage was more than enough. Yeah, I think I saved more time skipping the stage than I did actually um, getting the minus two seconds. How did I do? Of course I'm first. Oh, I beat Rosie by a second. She probably did the same trick as I did. But yeah. And I beat Ant Dude, which is, as we all know is the most important thing. 10 seconds faster than Ant Dude. That's how I feel about that. Poor old ant dude. I feel sorry for him. Must suck being so mediocre. I'm in the oh, God. Okay. I, is it something I need to show at some I'm point? I have to start calling you Golden Boy. Actually, best not. But it was still pretty Karis special. is back on her iPad app and um, colouring in some weird pictures on her iPad. And uh... yeah, and um, we've got um, Joseph in the in the in the nativity, and he's apparently very angry. I mean, I would be. God, I mean, God fucked his wife, and he's left him with the kids. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I'm with Joseph there. Fuck God. Joseph, by the way, I'm going to impregnate your wife. But God, I haven't even had a fuck yet. No, Joseph, no. I know she's a virgin, and that's how she'll stay, but you're still going to have the... You, you're going to have the... You have the burden of a child without the benefit of the sex. You just have a child to begin with, and that's it. Like, most people think the sex is worth it for the kid. But, like... Your of course I'm winding you up. 
Yeah, but what I'm saying though is that like for, for lots of people it's like, oh yeah, sex is a fun thing and then you have a kid and the, the kid may not be quite as fun as the sex, right? But it's like, oh no, in the nativity, it's like, oh, here's the Virgin Mary. Oh, Joseph, did you want a kid? Tough shit, here's a kid. You didn't even have to have sex to have it. How do you feel about that? Like people spend their entire lives with having safe sex and being protected and all this other shit so that they can have sex and have fun, but then they, so that they can avoid having a kid. But this dude doesn't even need safe sex. He doesn't need sex at all. He just has the kid. Like that's pretty, that's, like, you've been dealt a really shitty hand there. Like that's pretty bad. Hey Stannis, you can't come up though. Oh, Tear of Grace, who else would it be? Thank you so much for the 304 Banuka raid. That's huge, thank you guys. Good. Good. Welcome to my stream. I am Jim, also known as Caddy, also known as Cadicarus on YouTube. And I go on Vidigum and I stream Vidigum and I'm not very good at Vidigum, but people like to watch it. So that's that's my life on Twitch. So thank you for joining. Everybody in the chat, scare the um, new raiders away with the, all of my ugly, horrible emotes, because that's how we like to greet people on my streams. And um, you just missed us talking about how much of a shitty hand Joseph from the, the, the Nativity was dealt, considering that he ended up with a kid and didn't even have sex with his wife to have it. Um, so, yeah. No, Stanley, go away. No. I'm talking to my dog, by the way, not a child. Go away. Go to bed. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm still saving. I'm still saving up for the Festival Demon. I really like the Festival Demon. Kendall Bud, thank you for $5 donation. Very kind of you. Um, hey, Kenny, been watching your vids since 2012, and I think it's about time I offer some support. Thank you so much. Um, what better time when you're streaming a game in the series that from my childhood favorites? Th cheers. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that makes me feel old. Oh, cool. <gasps> Honey, look. Oh, that's my favorite costume so far. Like, you could just go with a basic normal pirate, and it's like, no, Sackboy just says... Take the pirate and fuck it in your face. We're going to go with green seaweed dead pirate. That's the only way to do a pirate. Right, back. I'm, I'm walking backwards. No, okay. That is That hat is comically large. The fact that I can see it flapping every time I roll is enough to tell you that this is way too big. And we've got a new gadget for the first time. Okay, what does this thing do? Okay, so we need to go to each corner of this little Y-shaped level, and then we head to the center, okay. Oh, it's a boomerang, okay. All right, it's a boomerang that bounces off walls. Okay, cool. Oh, and the cacti grows back, okay. So we just need to be a little bit quick about it. I should have enough for the festival demon outfit after all this. Oh, it homes in as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and there's some gold. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd love to see Sad Joseph, yeah. Are those gold cacti giving me money or is am I just going insane? I think I'm just going insane. Right, so now we've unlocked each side of the Y. Okay, right. Oh my God, fuck. Okay, so I suppose this is how we... Yeah, we break them by doing that, and then we can get rid of those guys by doing that. God, this makes combat a little bit more um, responsive, actually. Oh, shit, was that what... So oh, I was supposed to use that to get up there, wasn't I? Oh, fuck. Okay, there's got to be something hidden under there. Oh, my God almighty. Okay, nearly got crushed by a box. Yep, there we go. There's a secret. So how many are in this stage? Three, right? So in the key stages, there seems to be there seems to be a running theme of three per stage, three collectibles per stage. Void Teolia, thank you so much for five dollars. I pop in, and the first thing I hear is unprotected sex. Well, I guess I'm staying for the rest of the stream now. Um, yeah, we love talking about unprotected sex on this stream. It's the best kind. Except when it isn't, and you end up with a mistake with the rest of your life. <laughs> And I don't mean just a kid, I also mean herpes. Or gonorrhea. 
That's what I mean. Not just child. I'm not that. I'm not that shallow. Actually, I am. Oh, oh, oh! You tried to sneak a sneak away from my feet. Don't you dare. Yeah, Amy's said that she doesn't want us to have another kid anyway, so I'm with her on that. We don't usually agree, but when we do, it's about very serious topics. Kid's got a good politician head on her. Oh my god, Amy in power. That's the worst thing I've ever thought of. So how do I get... How do I get up here, then? So have I fucked up, then? Was I supposed to jump on this... Oh, no, 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 I can get up from here. Oh, or I can just use this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, what else is up here? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's go. Uh, right, onto the other side of the Y. Yeah. So, we've got Angry Joseph and a hench cow, says Keris, with this picture. I can't wait to see it done. You, you're keeping me in suspense here. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, it's a copy of a painting. So, it's just a really bad copy, then. Oh, so the actual painting has an Angry Joseph as well. Oh, does any, any artists in the chat know about a painting of the nativity with an Angry Joseph? <laughs> Sandra Botticelli. Anyone know that one? Oh my god. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a present in there. Shit. I need to be careful. Now? Awesome. Okay. Oh, we're done? Okay, I'll be right with you. I'm going to inspect it first. Okay, just give me a sec. I need to get out of this area here. So the key must be here, I'm assuming. Yes, there it is. Awesome. Let's see if there's any hidden collectibles up here. No. Oh, well, he needs to go to a toilet. Luckily enough, I'm going in front of him. It is a toilet! Okay, anyway, I need to... Okay, so, um... Karis has just finished... Karis has just finished colouring in her, um... Sandra Bolli Botticelli. Sandra Bottom. Her Sandra Bottom Birth of Christ picture on her, um... On her iPad colouring apps, and, um... The cow looks hench and the donkey looks like it's been stepped on. <laughs> um, and the angel looks like a rabid caveman. And Mary... Do you know what? No, do you know what? Mary looks like she's just had enough of everyone's shit. She looks, she looks like she's just come out of a big meth trip. She's tired. And um, Jesus has got zombie eyes. So anyway, we need to see this, don't we? Um, this is um, the lovely picture that Karis has just finished colouring in. There it is. Um, wait a minute. Let's see if we can get a bit close to the camera. So Joseph there is very fucking angry. So angry that he's um, not. He doesn't even notice the giant mutant bread behind him that's about to kill him. Um, yeah, we got the hench cow and the donkey that's nose has been stepped on by a big boot. Mary's just had a meth trip and is just fucking tired. We got. Rabid caveman angel baby that's about to go gladiator all up on Jesus, and Jesus is dead. You got dead eyes. So, um, happy Christmas. <laughs> happy Nativity, everybody. Um, thanks, honey. Let, let us know when you find another one. Oh. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. When lockdown ends, would you consider coming to any cons? In Peterborough, there's a thing called Force Day. We'd be awesome to meet you one day. Um, yeah, I've, trust me, the cons were a, a big part of my plans last year and they didn't happen because MAGFest 2020 was a roaring success and it's what got me back into the spirit of making videos on my channel and it fixed my channel, more or less. 
And so I was going to make it make it a very, very apparent point to try and get to as many um, cons as humanly possible. And I just couldn't do that that year. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try my hardest. But again, with, with cons, because of the traveling and the lack of being able to work and everything, if you guys want to see me at a con, you need to let those con directors know. You need to let the, t um, the management know. You need to let um, human resources know. You let need to let H um, HR know. Because... Um, these things are expensive and it's half the time especially with the family and everything it's not something i can willingly take like too much time out of my day my life for to do it if it was just me to look after and it was just me and my flat absolutely but i got a family to feed you know so if you can manage to get get me over as a guest by showing your interest to um um yeah, human resources of any convention that you know or reaching out to customer services or whatever and try and get me over as a guest and then I can do panels and shit um, for the tr a fair trade-off of um, having expenses paid, then awesome. I'd love to. That's how I've done any every con in the past. Aside from maybe like one when um, I was just trying, I needed desperately to see my mates and I wasn't there for any um, particular reason other than to see friends. Oh. Sack boy's a carrot now. Um, what the fucking hell was that about? That was actually quite disturbing. I didn't like that. Super Maze, thank you for 300 bits. Is this from the dark timeline where Joseph had enough of everyone's shit and walked off? Um, he didn't seem to want to walk off. He just looked like he was dealing with it like a man. And um, Caro, thank you for 200 bits. I think we had that photo in my Christian school. No, seriously. Yeah, apparently it's a real picture. Sandra Botticelli. It's a real, it's a real painting. It's just a very terrible um, <laughs> iPad coloring app version. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to get hurt. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that was close. Okay, six, six hundred. Nice round number to finish things off. There we go. The Wanchin Artist, thank you for 500 bits. Was able to make this stream in person for once. Also, the VR headset I got myself for Christmas was an Oculus Quest 2 since it's the budget option, but it's still really cool. Yeah, budget, budget VR now is good. Like, I think PSVR falls under budget. Maybe it's, no, 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 it's pretty, I mean, okay, budget, like, phone, cardboard VR is shit. I, I, when I'm talking about proper VR headset devices, I don't know if PSVR is considered budget, but I, I think it is. But even for that, it's so good for, for the money. It's really good for the money. Um, but that's it. Um, yeah, Oculus Quest, I haven't played that. I've only got the Oculus Rift S, which is amazing as well. Um, it's still really cool. Prodding my imagination, what game could we be like to play in VR? Uh, what my game would play like. Oh, oh, I see. You're wondering what Dribble would play like. <laughs> Dribble in VR would probably make me a bit sick, um, to be honest. I think there'll be a bit of um, motion sickness, a bit of color disorientation. Right, how, have we got a thousand bells yet? I want to buy the um, festival demon. Oh, we did that trial, didn't we? Yeah. No, not quite. Nearly. Might be able to do it with Slippery Slope. Have we got any more costumes? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in here. Um, no, we don't, so I'll keep into... Um, yeah, I'll keep in the... I, I like the pirate costume, so I'll stay in the pirate costume. Do I take my jumper off when I go to the toilet because you've done that every single time? <laughs> no, Karis, weirdly enough, no. I roll my sleeves up. I don't want I don't want to get a pooey particle sleeves, no. So is this like a, a a theme park based around the jungle then? There seems to be like height meters and um yeah, the customer toilets. Oh, it's a water slide! Oh, badass! Okay. So that's why there's three collectibles, because otherwise we ain't gonna get shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I'm just following where I think, I'm assuming where the collectibles would be based on my knowledge, my past experience. Oh my God, they're on fire now. Jesus, they want Sackboy dead. And, and as we all know, wool is very flammable, so you know it's gonna work. And they know it too. Devious, very de devious little creatures. Hey, another bounds round. Right, that's three then, isn't it? Oh, battery level low. Uh, that's a problem. Oh no, that's two, okay. It's all right, I've got a spare controller ready to go. So if this runs out of battery, we'll just swap over. No big deal. Oh, I don't want to jump in your head just yet. Yeah, there's a thing here. And that's it. Yep, okay, cool. Right, time to jump into your brain. <laughs> Talk about a headache. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh my fuck lord. Okay. Oh my lord in Christ. Oh. Slide away. Slide away, sack boy. Slide away. Did I get it? Did I get the third one? Yeah, I did. Cool. I think I missed a lot of costumes though, so I might need to just go back and do it again anyway. That's fine with me. It was a nice short level. Good. <laughs> Drunk as fuck. As a pirate should be. Right. No, I got everything. Okay. So th those were just big score bubbles then. I thought they were costumes. No, they were just big score bubbles. Okay, cool. 100%ed. No problem at all. Right. Have we got a thousand bells yet? I don't care about the stickers. I'm sorry. I just don't. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we've unlocked a new level. Yes, I get it. 69. The magic funny number got us over the threshold to get the festival demon. Thank you so much, 69. What would we do without you? 69, everybody. DJ! 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 I knew 69 was better than just a move. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, it is you. I wondered why it's Festival Demon is now mine. <laughs> okay, right. So what else have we got? God, there's lots of shit here. Okay, anyway. Beat the heat. And then once we're done, we beat the meat. Beat the meat, treat the feet, to the sweet, milky seat. That's a great system song because we can play it in the car with the kids because they, they just hear a song about bananas and terracotta pie when everyone else knows it's about fucking. Oh shit! Get down, aunt. Yep, sorry. We've got copyrighted music, everybody. Sorry, we've got to have to mute the game for now. Uh. So, how are we all doing? I hate carrying the stream forward with my voice only. This is not fun. Trust me, I like it as much as you do, which is not at all. Fuck you. Well, I might as well restart because I didn't even fucking start the level. Oh. If you can hear the pops, that's coming from the controller, not the TV. It's probably because the controller's right by the mic. Yeah, despite this microphone being um, auto level, I thought that meant it would pick up the background noise of the TV and then think, oh, that's really quiet, let's make it louder. 
but it actually knows the difference between vocals going into the mic and um, background um, frequency noises. So I'm really, really impressed with with this mic. Oh my fucking god. Got that at least. Yeah, getting those getting those score bubbles is not worth it. So I guess in every level there's going to be like a disco a disco song that kind of goes along with the stage and the, and every, everything's rhythmically bouncing to it, all the obstacles and shit. Oh, if you could hear the music, it's actually really well timed with the platforming. Um, I. I don't know the words to Jungle Boogie. Is this what this song's called? Jungle Boogie. Jungle Boogie. Jungle Boogie. Oh, fuck. I guess it would be Jungle Boogie, considering we're in the jungle. Jungle Monkey. Metal spooning. Having sexy. You got me talking about it, honey. I did. How did I do that? Because we were talking about the Virgin Mary. You can't say the word virgin without talking about sex. It's, it's, it's just the... Joseph looks sad, but that's all I said. Yeah, Joseph looks sad because of what happened to him and his wife. Well... And he knows that if he, dis and if he, knows he, li if he leaves his wife, uh, God will punish him because he put his son in his wife. <laughs> and so he can't say no. He just has to deal with it, poor Joseph. He either deals with a wife that betrayed him, or he um, or he goes to hell. I still consider it a betrayal. Okay, we've got multiple chances to grab this. There we go, worked. Get this one as well. Pop. Scary doormat, smelly cow pad, definitely gonna get fat. This must be really, really boring <laughs> for anyone watching. And I'm sorry I can't carry the stream along with my voice on its own. Oh my lord almighty. Oh, you have a contender for the next awful picture? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Oh, I can't wait to see. I don't think the audience can wait either. What is it? Can you give us a tease? No, I can't. You can't give us a tease? No. Aww. Oh. Boo! Yeah, that's uh, okay, alright. No, we, we, we want it. We want it. I won't boo you anymore, I'm sorry. So is it an original picture? No, yeah. Oh, is it like a life quote or something? Oh my god, I'm excited. I don't think I touched the ground that- Yeah, I didn't touch the ground and got a trophy for it! Didn't touch the ground, killed a load of enemies, got a trough. Okay, let's grab this. I missed it! Oh my god. These le Okay, so I will say, like, whoever in the chat said that the Bruno Mars level was the best one in the game, I think this is a better level, um, but I think all the rhythm levels are going to be the best ones because they're actually genuinely challenging and very unique. And they have a sense of humour. And, I mean, look, some of the best levels in Rayman Origins and Legends other ones when you're running along with the music and all the obstacles are timed in with whatever song you're listening to some of the, some of the best levels in the game are from that okay I was very weird <laughs> I was very worried for a second I thought the game was going to stop with me trapped in its head forever 
Okay, this... Mm, okay, maybe not. Okay, got all of them. Fuck! Okay, is that on forever? I think it is. Okay, I'm not- do you know what? I know this is pathetic of me, but I'm not even risking jumping over. I'm gonna wait until it turns over. There we go. Oh, there's another secret there! Oh, sneaky, cheeky Pete! Pete, I told you not to be a sneak. Otherwise, I'll make you s sniff the feet of uh, Mrs. Squeet. Um, it's it, oh, it's finished? So that took you no time at all. It was, was it crap? Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait a sec. There we go. Oh, Digimanta, thank you for 500 bits! Oh, nice to see you! Hope you enjoyed the raid last night. I hope um, nobody got um, too frightened. From what I understand, Paper Mario is a very scary video game. Oh my lord! No, not as scary as Sackboy though. Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't like, I don't like. And Harper, thank you so much for 250 bits. Ca Hi, Cadmaster and family. Just got off raging at Arkham Knight. Off to bed now, Zay. Um, I have, I want to get up tomorrow. Good idea. Thank you for coming down either way. And I, yeah, so, do you know what? Uh, thinking back, Arkham Knight has some of the, like, most artificially difficult enemy encounters. Not because the enemies themselves are harder, but it's because they, they ganged up, um, like, deliberately, ridiculously difficult enemies that work in tangent with each other a little bit too well. Like, Riot Gear, plus medic Medics, plus, yeah, everything. God, how many are there? Are these endless? They're not endless, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill them all just in case there's a secret. Sorry, honey, what's this picture? Let's have a look. Sorry, wait, you wanna see it? Yeah. Are you ready? Don't worry about it, Digimanda. You deserve it, you do some good streams. I'm glad that I'm glad that Foosh introduced me. Oh Lord! You know what, Digimanda? I have something to say to you that's very important, um, and I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to let um, a picture speak for me. Are you ready? Oh, it's it's mirrored. Oh shit, it's mirrored. Oh, you're not you're not going to be able to read it. Oh, maybe maybe you can. Maybe you can read it. It's not exactly complicated. You're just as pretty as that lady. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> it's Swamp Thing. <laughs> That's you, that is. You're strong and beautiful. Just like Mrs. Green. With the big lips. Fish wife. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Uh, that is really horrible, yeah. You are strong and beautiful, and you look like you have spots. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that that's free as well. I don't know how I would feel if you had to pay for it. <laughs> no, Digimanda, you weren't supposed to say, oh. No, no you weren't supposed to. Because that lady on there had like a million spots and looked like a, a reptile with the plague. You don't want that. You didn't want that. I was trying to be foony. But often my, my, often my jokes are misconstrued as compliments. I, I get it. It's fine. Oh! No, 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 no! Fuck. I probably should have just left it. I should have left it well enough alone. There's nothing there, is there? Something was pushing me back. I don't know what that was, but something was pushing me back whenever I jumped on them. Oh, God. Oh, I have to jump over it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I've got all of the... Yeah, so I just need to redo it without dying once. And if I was right by the end of the level, then that means I died right at the end of the level. And that is going to piss me off to no end. <sighs> oh, screw off. <laughs> How dare you? I hit you with my big pointy. Goodbye. Oh, no. Flacking fucking fat. Yeah, there we go. The cup is one with my face. It's all I ever wanted. 
Um, I can't put the sound back on, honey, because I need to redo the level. <laughs> That is a better reaction, Amanda. Yeah, you're completely right. Yeah, well done. You got it. All right, here we go again. Get ready for a DMCA friendly, a DMCA friendly walkthrough of this one level from Sackboy. Do 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 Jungle Boogie, burr, burr, get gone, Boogie. Oh no, Jungle Boogie, burr, burr, Jungle Boogie. Hello, Jungle Boogie, burr, burr, Jungle Boogie. Goodbye, Jungle Boogie, burr, burr, Jungle Boogie. Oh dear, Jungle Boogie, burr, burr, Jungle Boogie. Stamps, Jungle Boogie. Burr. Sorry, I'm no. Okay, I need to concentrate. Jungle Boogie, welcome. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, dog tags. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, big torch. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, shaving. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, jungle. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, boogie. I need to. I need to release a single, don't I? I. I I'd make it a charity single, but I think I'd I'd upset all the African children because nobody would want to buy it. So it's like, not only have I made a shit song, but n nobody wants to buy it even for the sake of saving starving children, so everybody would be pissed off with me. Yeah, you're, you're right, Blue Jay. Pl Blue Jay player saying that I'll get copyright striked for such an accurate um, recreation. Yeah, you're right. I mean, after all, the tune is copyrighted. Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, Lick Boot, Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, Meat Flaps, Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, Oopoo, Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, Metal, Jungle Boogie, brr, brr, Jungle Boogie, Big Boy, Jungle Boogie, brr. Oh, it's over. Okay, we can put the sound back on. Sorry, you don't have to listen to me singing anymore. It's all done. It's over. Yeah, I'm fast forwarding. I'm going through it. There we go. No death. Perfect. Just what we needed. Right, world map. I'm going through a world map. Like a colossal kangaroo. Right, what can we buy? I don't think we can buy anything, actually. Now that I think about it. Now we've got nowhere near enough bells for anything. Okay, so how about... How does this sound, everybody? We will do this, do the next trial, and then call it a night. How about that? Um, <gasps> Jungle Buggy! Yeah, we got Jungle Boogie costume. Thank you, everybody, for the good reviews of, um... Thanks for all the good reviews of my latest, um, a cappella single, everybody. I right, Ninja, thank you for 200 bits. Make a special album with all three Randa songs and your covers here. <laughs> no. For me to sell any of my Randa songs is to officially declare that I am a very, very evil person because that means that I think I'm worth money for Randa song. Richardo, thank you for 200 bits and you can't carry a stream without game sound. Ah, thank you. Well, that's what happens when the game decides to put copyrighted music in my face. I have to deal with it somehow. Oh, I don't like the snapping face. And I died already. Fuck off. No, I'm going back. I don't like tooth head. Tooth head frightens me. Oh, sack boy. Tooth makes me uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Hey. Cheerio, mate. Cheerio? Don't get eaten by the big teeth plant. 
Oh, I gave him a, I gave him a right old walloping. Oh, you can. Oh, so they're monkeys that you can just roll around. Okay, monkey, would you like some anal beads? I know that they're cheeky, and you're very cheeky, like a cheeky monkey. Oh, hello, angry strawberry. What's in here? Fuck all. That's what. Uh, yeah, yeah, have as, have as many pop-offs as you want. Oh, we've got another 14.99 plate here, special from HMV. That's a lot for a plate, but maybe it was a good plate. You know, like the good sun, the good plate. What's it they say in that thing? It's not the prodigal son has returned, it's the prodigal plate was worth 14.99. Yeah, it's a very famous quote. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. You haven't watched any of my streams so far? What, today or just at all? How the f- Why did that happen? I went through the cardboard. Last time I checked, cardboard was pretty That's solid. In my garden. Sorry, honey. Yeah. You've been coloring in Angry Joseph and Dead Jesus. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, the, nothing's oh, happened. It's just, like, we're, that's, that's, um, monkey mama. Or mama monkey, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't like her either. And, um, that's it. We're in a jungle. We um, did a boss, a boss fight against Vex for the first time. And he was being all Richard E. Granty all over my face, which I'm always appreciative of. Oh god, okay, that's an going back onto the actor discussion, that's another actor I'm always happy to see in anything. Um JK Simmons. He fucking nails everything he's ever been in in his life. He's never had a bad performance. Unless there's a, a, a something I don't know about. Anything I've seen him in, he's been amazing. Okay, so what happens if I what, oh what happens if I put you in there? Did you ever want to relive? Did you ever want to live your dream of smacking monkeys around? Now you can, and you don't have to go to Africa to do it. Um, Richardo, thank you for resubbing for six months. Very kind. And Mig Mig Teletubby, I think that says thank you for the two two pun um, resub. Just finished a uni exam. Watching this throws me back to playing Little Big Planet years ago. Less stressful times. Love the vids, man. Thank you so much. And Richardo, what did you say? A couple of days from returning to work at my Japanese school. It's hard for me to catch these live from next week, but keep the good times going. I wish the Caddy Clan stays safe, family and chat room included. You just made me sound like a hate mob. Um, I do not want to be called the Caddy Clan. Um, I'm the only Caddy here. <laughs> I'm the only Caddy in the Caddy fam. Yeah, exactly. No, people say Caddy and fam. I'm always, I'm always on the side because they know that I'm the only Caddy here. And that's how it should be. My last name needs to die with me. I am the end of my bloodline. I don't want... It's, 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 no. <laughs> I thought it was Stanley Reginald Pickles. I thought that was his name. Oh, at the vet, he's Stanley Caddick. Yeah, you're right. Do we... Oh, wait, that's where we put the monkeys! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, I've got a seed here, so the seed goes in here. Okay, right. What's it, what comes out of here, then? Oh, an anus. Thank you. And here we have the beautiful anus flower sprouting multiple flaps and a big cross that's covered in blood because that's where it last copulated. And I was there to watch it, but I didn't film it because I wanted to enjoy it by myself. Wait, can we pick them up? Ah, oh, we can. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, we're the Macad... 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 Fair Macads? Yeah. So there's two fair where there's one McKay and one Caddick in our house. In our house. Okay, in our family, there's two McKays. If you want to get te technical, it's not even two McKays. It's one McKay, two Fairweathers, one Caddick, and one White Tapticlis. That's Chloe's mid last name. And she doesn't like it as much as everyone else doesn't. So, um, when's she going to legally change it? She said she was going to. And she goes by McKay basically everywhere aside from legal shit. 
I went in there, didn't I? Yeah, I did, yeah. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. What do you prefer, the Spider-Man trilogy or the Dark Knight trilogy? Spider-Man trilogy. Dark Knight trilogy is too bleak for me. Not bleak in a, like, thought-provoking, dark kind of way, but just in a brooding, miserable kind of way. I'm not saying they're bad movies. It's just, if you said to me right now, do you want to watch all three Spider-Man movies or all three Dark Knight movies, I'd watch all three Spider-Man movies. They know, they know what it what it means to be a comic book superhero movie. And I know that Batman is supposed to be a darker take on a comic book superhero, but... Oh, uh, Spider-Man, Spider there's too much nostalgia. And they're solid fucking movies, and you and you can enjoy them on multiple levels, whether or not... Whether you turn your brain off, or you actually pay attention to what's going on. Yes, even the third one. I don't think the third one's that bad. It has emo Peter in it, and it's the best thing ever. I won't have anyone tell me otherwise. Oh, we got another whack-a-mole. Weed killer, no weeds. Well, why do you need a weed killer then? Ah, uh, official Chris Johnson. Thank you so much for the raid of 10 Banookas. Welcome everybody, we are playing some Sack Boy. The boy made of sack from an old man, Sack. At the moment, Mr. Old Man Sack has an afro and he's jumping on their heads. Oh, worms! Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay. Oh, wait. Can we roll into them? If we can, that makes things way easier. Yeah, we can. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay, well, I nearly ran out of time either way, so. Thank you for the surprise. Let's move on with our lives. God, this is a big level. The secret garden. Ooh. The mossy garden. The secret garden and the potting shed. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Can I get to your secret garden and show it my potting shed? <laughs> oh, look. It's, an, it's a living potting shed. Can I pot myself? Thank you. Pop! Mm -hmm. Watch an artist, 200 bits, extra bits just because you said Spider-Man 3 is good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah, people, um, like, I, look, the Venom stuff is shit. I get that. It's really shit. In Spider-Man 3, honey, the Venom, the, Ven the Venom shit is really bad in Spider-Man 3. It really is. But it's still a fun watch. It's still got everything that makes a Spider-Man film really fun. And, um... More importantly, it has Emo Peter, as I said. Which the entire point, let's be real, the entire point of that whole scene, you're not supposed to think he's cool. He thinks he's the hot shit, but you're not supposed to think that. He's being taken over by the fucking Venom symbiote, right? Of course he's going to act like that. And of course you're supposed to cringe. That's entirely the point. Pimo Eater. <laughs> Pedo Eater. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm the pedo eater. We expose pedophiles and then we put them on the grill and feed them to the kids <laughs> and burgers. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to hell. Oh my god. Oh, hell. Oh, screw. Screw, screw, screw. John the Wholesome, 200 bits. I like this movie because it looks fake and it's trying to be serious. My 10 year old nephew on Spider Man 3. Is it trying to be serious, though? Like, watch all of them again. They are all very, very light-hearted. I'm not sure about that. I think the... Okay, the Sandman plot, I'll give you that. It's trying to be a little bit serious with that. But the Sandman plot's the only really good emotional thing in that movie. The rest of it's just ridiculous. Like every other Spider-Man movie, which is why I like it. Yeah, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, there's there, well, there's three different ones now. There's the ama there's Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man, which was shit. Um, the Tom Holland ones, which are really really good, um, both as both as comedic and as just s superhero movies in general. And then you have the Tobey Maguire ones, which are classic, um, incredibly fun, and properly comic booky. Like I can I, I can say that I enjoy the Tom Holland ones and the to Tobey Maguire ones equally. But for totally different we re reasons. For totally different reasons, because um, I can't say that the um, I can't say that the Tom Holland ones capture the essence of comic book Spider-Man as well as the M Maguire ones do, do. At least from what I've seen. At least from what I've seen. Like the cheesy, ridiculous outfit, 
pop arty, silly colours kind of thing, you know. Where's the final monk? Am I making my way back up here if I come down? I don't think I am. I think it's going to move me. I need to find the final monkey and I don't know where it is. I can hear it though. Oh, it's being sh I thought that was an attack. Well, that's where it was. Okay, I thought that was a projectile. In the toilet. Thank you. There we go. Three little crystals sitting on a ball. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Where is Peter? Where is Paul? I can't find Peter. I can't find Paul. Did they go to the shops, Peter? Did they, Paul? <laughs> That's what the nursery rhyme is, though. It's just saying... It's just saying you end every single line of the nursery rhyme with Paul. <laughs> like, Paul rhymes with Paul in every single line of that nursery rhyme. Wall and Paul. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh! Oh... Yeah, that is probably the worst nursery I've ever written. I, I'm just saying that right now. Two little dicky birds. Shit. Two little dick birds. <laughs> Two little dick birds sitting on pool. One called Peter. But <laughs> another one called Peter. The Peter twins shit on top of pool. <laughs> Two little dicky birds sitting on pool. Paul likes it, so he don't do nothing. Don't fly away, Peter. Because he likes shitting on Paul. <laughs> oh my god. I love streaming games like this where I can feasibly get through it with no kind of branching serious story to pay attention to because I can just chat shit. I like chatting shit. Oh! Oh, a gassy arrow. Oh, no. Right, what do you want? <laughs> uh, 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 I want mouth! Oh, I remember the last time I tried to post a banana. It didn't go down too well. Oh, do we have to put something in his mouth to then throw at another monkey? Oh, we got to find a monkey to throw in the monkey. I don't remember. Oh, no, yeah, no. The other day, yeah, I was coming out of co-op, wasn't I? And there was somebody that was posting a letter in the... Or someone posting a letter. And um, they they weren't wearing a mask or anything. I mean, if you're outdoors and you're just going to a post box and you're going to go back to your car, whatever. But he wasn't wearing a mask. But he goes to the post box, puts the letter in, up, like, but he puts it in deep. You know how people like to do it, like, just to make sure it goes in properly. So he puts it in extra deep with his whole hand and, like, t like feels around all the edges, like the rim of the post box. And the worst bit is that he then he then goes like this. And then goes back to his car. So, fuck knows, COVID aside, fuck knows what kind of germs were lurking around on the rim of that post box. And he was just happy to put them right in his mouth after posting that letter. So I guess he gets off of being coffee, I suppose. I'm not sure. Oh, um, thank you, 200 bits. I'm Cameron Bly. Thoughts on the Spider-Man movie having all three actors come back? I didn't see it coming, to be honest, with um, um, Sony's copyright issues that they've had with Spider-Man and, like, not being able to say it's part of the MCU. Technically, technically, it's not on Disney Plus because it's Sony owned. So I didn't think that they'd ever get any of them back. But if they ma actually managed to get Garfield, um, Maguire, and Holland together, I think that would be a really fun movie. Um, thank you for the $5, Matthew Swift Twitch. Um, I hope that's because you have a Twitch channel and not because you Twitch a lot. Um, I see you're playing Saxman's Big Business Venture. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you and your family are having a wonderful time. Can't wait to see what you cook up for the new year. I can't wait either, because I don't know. I'm still working on it. Wait, so how m have I got everything? I have! Awesome. So I just need to get through it without dying, which takes, like, less than a minute. Ah! Monk rolling! Maha! Oh, stupid monkeys. Can't do the alphabet. Oh, thank 
Come on, kids, sing with me. B1, C, D, 3. That's where it stops. Every last of them safe. Home sweet home. Thank you, Mama Moomin. People who just eat germs for fun are, uh, for the fun of it, are bananas to me. I don't think he was eat. I don't think he was going out of his way to eat germs. I think he was trying to eat his smelly little fingers. I think he was trying to get all the shit from under his nails. That's what I think he was doing. But especially with a pandemic, it's amazing. Oh, there we go. Don't know why I'm here. Um, yeah, especially with a pandemic, I don't know why you'd be so willing to touch a public post box where everyone's fingers had been and then lick your fingers. Like, at least lick your fingers before touching the letter so you've got a better grip on it, you know? Oh, sorry. What? Oh, what, banging that? Yeah, probably. Right, replay, get the, um, no death. Then we'll do the trial, and then we'll call it a night. Two and, two and a half hours of Sackboy is, uh, is enough for me on a, on a streaming session. It's not like Final Fantasy when I can go for it like three to four hours. I mean, I could, if I was just like, again, brain shut off and everything, and I was just doing it for myself, and I was just sitting in a chair all my own, I probably, but I probably would put a little bit more than four hours into it. I could play this in a big spurt, but there's only so much I can discuss, talk about, slash be entertaining about while keeping engaged with the game. Because <laughs> there's not much going on. There's not much to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, you're not going to miss anything if you go away. No, not at all. It is all the same. I mean, it's 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 basically uh, like Mario's no different, right? Mario's just like same environment, same shit, different day, you know, kind of thing. But Mario has the gameplay that makes up for it, whereas this is um this is quite slow and the speed. Mario has the speed as well, which this really doesn't have to its advantage. Even the roll is really slow, and that's that's the that's the alternate quick move. See, it goes like if you're not going for one hundred percent, or you're not going for any collectibles, and you just want to play a platformer, that entire level, that was it. That was about thirty seconds of a level where I didn't have like I had maybe three obstacles, a couple of jumps, and I mostly spammed circle to get through it quickly. You don't even speak. Like I I criticized Crash Four for being designed too much like that. Like oh, it's too it's too much of a completionist game where then the casual players are left in the dust a little bit. Like, this is this is way worse. At least Crash 4 has a really, really fucking good casual game um, beneath all of it. Right, world map. Yeah, you're right, Zach Lilypad. It is pointless if you don't want the collectibles. It is absolutely pointless. Like, there's no need to play it at all. Because every other branching path and everything interesting about the game, power-ups and all that shit... That's only a reward to those that want to go through the the, the collectible angle of it. The collangle. The knitted night trials. Here we go again. Right, so I got um, the best possible time out of all my friends by skipping a massive portion of the level. I hacked it um, in my first go. Um, so let's see if I can get a gold medal first go and beat Ant Dude and my sister. That's the most important thing to me. I have to beat Ant Dude. That's my bottom of the barrel minimum. But if I can beat my sister, that's even better. I let her have Astro. I'm not letting her have this. This is PS access. Oh dear. Okay, that's what I get for making fun of my sister. Uh, right, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, this is actually quite fucking difficult. There's a very weird... Um... Oh, these jumps are so, they're so like, they're just long enough where you think you're going to make them, but not quite long enough. Every single jump feels like you're going to fall off. Yeah, you kind of got to get onto these things at the right time, at the right angle, so that you're able to, um, 
Yeah, because you have to kind of go with the, the, with the direction they're turning. Otherwise, you're slowing yourself down by the fuckload. Cameron Bly, thank you for 200 bits. Oh, sorry. <laughs> If you're animated YouTube, um, if you're into animated YouTube videos, I recommend you check out Has Been Hotel if you're looking for something new to watch. Ah, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm okay, thanks. I know a lot about it. I've seen lots of clips, but like I said, I'm not one. Our family are not one to look at any kind of animated series or, or is it a short? I thought it was a series. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought it was a series. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It's definitely not for the family. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Understood. Oh, that was a good jump. Jesus Christ, these jumps are getting tight. My God. Okay, that was a tricky one. Um, let's see where I got. Oh, I'm first. Sweet. Beat Rosie. That's all I care about. Oh, I beat her by four seconds. And Ant didn't even finish it. Un unjustfully taking my Sonic Team Racing trophy. No, my Team Sonic Racing trophy, sorry. There we go. Having a good time. Is the co the costumes changing, isn't it? I've just noticed that the costumes changing every time I go into a new level. In which case, that's one of the best costumes. I'm um, going back to the knit and night trials, and then you got gold. yeah, we did get gold. You smashed it, as I believe the young sacklings say these days. <laughs> so can we like? Okay, let's go to the shop and see if we can buy anything new. Yeah, don't care about the stickers. Uh, hold quick select. Um, have I got enough money? Oh, no, nah, I'd, I'd, I'd wait until I can have... I, yeah, I'll wait until I have enough to buy. Oh, Caterpillar, shit. Yeah, we need to get um, these new costumes here. Okay, right, so we'll um, call it a day there. Um, I think it saves automatically. I hope it does. Um, and that's it. Uh, we're, we're done. We're done for Sackboy for the night. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. We'll find somebody to raid right this instant. Um, let's jump on that now. Where do we go? Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, that was a fun one. Lots of, lots of, I, I like it when there's a lot of natural running off of the tongue shit talking going on. That's, that, those are my favorite kinds. Um... Oh, Fushi, she's playing Kirby Triple Deluxe. That's my favorite Kirby game. Okay, def definitely raiding her. Definitely raiding Miss Fushi. Um... Oh, shit. I, I, I don't get this bloody... I always type in the commands wrong. I, this is why I'm not a programmer. I'm not very good at keyboard shortcuts and, like, executables on, like, um, Microsoft's um, run and all that shit. I don't know very many secrets with that. Uh, Miss Fushi. Did that work? Yes, it worked. Awesome. Right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for coming down. Thanks for watching me making an ass of myself on a stupid... Um, it's fun, but it's it's a little bit basic. But it's it's fun enough, and the it's providing a lot of good material for streams, I feel. So that's all that really matters, isn't it? But thank you so much for joining. I'll see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube or Twitch, either way, means so much to me. Thank you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, everybody.